Today, we're announcing Ada Lovelace. September 20th, 2022, NVIDIA in its latest keynote finally released the information on its new GPU lineup. Well, at least the top tier of that lineup. And instantly this flamed up a strong resistance against NVIDIA and a controversy never seen before in GPU market. We now know the details and the pricing that NVIDIA is forcing upon the market with these new GPUs and it is looking to be the most disappointing and disgusting pricing of a new GPU lineup in recent history, if not in all of GPU market history. The new GPUs announced were the RTX 4090, the RTX 4080 and the RTX 4070. Wait, my bad. The 4070 is actually now called the RTX 4080 12GB. The reason why they are calling the GPU that in all previous lineups would have been called the RTX 4070 is to try to justify the massive hike in pricing and then believing that their customers are not smart enough to see through this garbage. You see, when you compare the MSRP for the previous 70 tier GPUs, it's looking like this. GTX 970, 8 years ago, 329 US dollars. GTX 1070, 6 years ago, 379 US dollars. RTX 2070, 4 years ago, 499 US dollars. RTX 3070, two years ago, 499 US dollars. And now, finally, the 4080 12GP version, which clearly is a 70 tier GPU when comparing the specs, is now the ridiculous 899 US dollars. Comparing the specs of these 4080 versions clearly show that they have a different graphics core entirely, meaning the 4080 16GP is the actual 4080 core, while the 4080 12GP is the 4070 core. So it's not just a lower memory version of the 4080 core, but an entirely different lower spec core. This is highly unethical marketing, if you ask me, misleading the customer to believe that the 4070 would be a 4080 when it's clearly not. So don't fall to this NVIDIA's misleading marketing BS, which in my opinion should be illegal and they should be called out on it and be forced to rename the series versions according to their specs or at the very least be forced to label full specs of all versions clearly in the retail box of each card for all customers to see the difference clearly and without doubt. So, if they named this GPU the RTX 4070, people would absolutely lose their marbles with that pricing. That's why it's now called the 4080 12GP version. Perhaps soon we will get the mid-budget GPU called the RTX 4080 10GP at 700 US dollars and the 4080 8GP at 500 US dollars. And then finally the lower budget GPUs called the RTX 4080 6GP at 400 US dollars and the RTX 4080 4GP at 300 US dollars. The RTX 4090 is priced at 1600 US dollars and the RTX 4080 16GP version at 1200 US dollars. So the 4090 is actually priced pretty well for its own category, but the 4080 16GP is now priced at the TI tier, meaning the actual 4080 TI, when announced, will cost at least 1400 US dollars, at least according to this pricing practice. Better yet, these prices in Europe are even more egregious, being 2000 euros for the 4090, 1500 euros for the 4080, and 1150 euros for the 4070 bullshit 4080 version. As I was writing this script, I just found out that the most popular PC retailer here in Finland, Jim's PC Store, has already listed RTX 4090 cards on their website. 
with a seemingly placeholder price of 3000 euros for all the different versions from Pallet, MSI and Asus. While this price is most likely exactly that, just a placeholder for the time being, it is at least upsetting to think that NVIDIA partner cards would have to sell that high for the partners to make any profit with their products. Most likely this is one of the reasons why EVGA dropped off from NVIDIA business altogether. In contrast, two years ago I got my 3080 card at release with 739 euros here in Finland. Now Nvidia is asking for the same tier card, 1500 euros, which is over double the price. And all I'm saying is, nope, never gonna pay that much for a basic 80 tier GeForce card. Would not pay that money even for a 80 Ti tier card. No thank you. So why is this happening? What is Nvidia up to with its ravenous pricing for the next gen GPUs? There are most likely three main factors in this. One, it's a symptom of the past two years crypto market explosion and the massive demand for all things GPUs on the market. This section of tech history has seen the most price increase ever and it's still driving the decisions of GPU pricing. Nvidia is simply hungry for that extra money because they are after all a private profit driven company and one part of the current pricing comes from the afterglow of that crypto market fallout. As most of you already know, that crypto market collapsed during the past 6 months but it's still affecting how companies would like to sell their products. Two. Nvidia is desperate to sell all the previous 30 series inventory that is said to be still plentiful. During the past two years, the crypto market explosion resulted in Nvidia increasing the manufacturing of the 30 series cards, and they claimed themselves this August that they have simply made too many 30 series cards, offering discounts to get rid of that overflown stock of these cards. They simply want to sell off as many 30 series cards as possible, as fast as possible, and they are struggling to do that. PC sales has gone down dramatically during this year, and Nvidia didn't want to see it coming, even though almost everyone else did. 3. The production cost of the new 40 series cards has gone up by around 30 or 40%. This is simply because TSMC, the actual manufacturer of the GPU chips, has raised its prices and has removed its discount pricing for large volume orders. TSMC is no longer willing to make deals with Nvidia or AMD to give them discounts and is simply using the market pressure to raise its own profit margins. Once more, it comes down to profit making and the fact that they can easily do so. This adds up to the fact that Nvidia itself is wanting higher profit margins as well. All these increased profit margins are now stacked to be paid by the end users. Taking all these things into consideration, it would seem that Nvidia is between a rock and a hard place. On the other hand, they need to make profit with their sales. But then again, people are not willing to pay those increased prices. They have now pretty nicely cornered themselves with the current situation. Because we have AMD coming out with its new 7000 series GPUs. They have officially announced that the RDNA 3 GPUs will launch in November 3rd, so we will most likely get more accurate information about that release very soon. It seems that AMD pricing will be lower than Nvidia's, creating a massive opportunity to AMD to take the market by storm this time around. As an example, if we get a powerful RX 7800 GPU with somewhat comparable performance to the Nvidia's 4080 16 gigs GPU for less than 900 euros, AMD is gonna take a lot of customers away from Nvidia. AMD has revealed that their production cost for their new cards is not up by much, meaning they can sell their cards with the lower price to begin with. For these reasons I believe that no customer should be buying any of the GeForce RTX 40 cards for the time being. After all said and done, at the end of this year, 
or at the beginning of 2023, Nvidia is forced to drop the prices of the 40 series cards or lose the market to AMD during 2023. As upset as I was initially when I learned these Nvidia's prices, I've now calmed down understanding that it's most likely just an oddity, a desperate reaction to the current unstable economy situation we have on the planet. I have been an Nvidia user my entire life, for as long as I can remember. And this time around, I'm absolutely not interested in anything Nvidia is offering with these prices. I'm not willing to use more than maybe around 800 or 900 euros for my GPU, which is already much more than most gamers are ready to spend on a single component of a computer. I'm willing to spend that much because it's part of my work with my YouTube gaming and graphics design work as well. Ever since I started my YouTube work in 2008 with the NVIDIA's GTX 280, I've had either a 70 or 80 tier GPU in my computer. Maybe it's now time to shift to AMD's camp, provided that AMD will be smart with its new GPU lineup and pricing. I would happily welcome AMD GPU if it simply was the better choice financially and performance-wise. What do you people think of all this? Are you willing to pay the price Nvidia is asking for a new GPU? Do you believe, like I do, that those prices will drop much lower within the first two or three months after release? Do you trust Nvidia to give us better pricing at any point? And do you consider AMD being in a better situation on the market right now? That's all for now. Got to vent a bit about this situation, shared my thoughts and ideas, and hope to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Drop a like, sub for more gaming and PC related content, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe and healthy everyone.